I didn't have to do that. That could have just been a vertical damp. But that's, like I said, that's just made things a lot easier when you're doing these. The sawzall blade will go into the cavity that we've, we've made. If we hadn't cut that out, the sawzall blade wouldn't have gone in. So what we do with it, what we do when it works in half like that. Well, there you go, my boys here. Here's the uh, state of the bricks. So, God, God knows, we probably won't have enough now. Good Thursday afternoon. 28th of March, rained off again, even though it's uh, not raining. But it's for it's raining this morning, it's forecast later as well, so we, did, we weren't doing a little job in that weather. We've got a garden wall to do and two littles to do up on a scaffold. So, um, and one of them's quite a drive away, so I'm not going to drive all the way there and sit in the van for half a day, so we'd rather wait till we get good days. So, with being off, the van strip. Oh, this isn't too good at the moment. He's let, he's let me get the van stripped out. So, I'm going to go to Brick Store in Wigan to get the bricks picked up. I've checked them in stock, I've got the right ones, they're all matched up. So, they'll be coming in on a pallet, so we need room for that. I'm going to CD Stone in Lee to pick up the sill, which will be in two halves, which hopefully the pallet there, push that over and the two pieces of sill are slot in here. There should be about 900 a piece. No, a metre each, because two, two metres and 15 total length, so I'll, uh, I'll shift you around make sure they go in. So that's, that's the main stuff we need. And I'm probably trying to get the, the sand and cement as well. With it being Good Friday tomorrow, obviously it's in place open to be in or Selco. I'm going to try and get to fields if I can. Also, need to get back to the lintel job to get the, the uh, trims put on. Ow! Oh! I shot that. You best um, open the garage again. The trims? We've put all the silk away? Yeah. Ah. Oh. I got a bit carried away. Could you have said that, didn't it? Yeah, we need to get the trim on so we get paid. I don't want to take money off the customer until it's finished, so. So we could have used this doubled up. But it's only 0 0.37, 0 0.36, yeah, 0 0.36, so it's not, not the right stuff. So we need the 0.32. So we'll have to get a pack from um, Selco. Um, that's another thing I need to do, but that's not critical. That can be done Saturday or Friday or Saturday because I'm pretty sure they'll be open bank holiday on Saturday. So uh, I just need to get a bit of trim from up there, get the silicon and stuff, which I'll just put there and We'll keep the vents in the van for the carriage conversion as well. So um just get these bits and then I'll take you along the ride. Take the ride to a uh, brick store. Isn't it? and special reserve in stock ready ready for me to go and pay for and collect let's go and get them they're in I didn't get a chance to get a get the camera started but um, I don't like the way they're stacked so I think I'm going to get a, a strap over the top I've never used one of these in a van before, but um, I do not want them falling over my new van. I haven't got enough spares to lose, and I don't want my new van getting damaged. So, um, here we go. I should do the job. Hopefully. Might just tighten that up a little bit more. 
Can we get going to Lee? For this stone shop. Jeez, I picked the wrong time to come here. I've got my bricks. I just put my sat nav on to get me to Lee. I've got a rough idea how to get there. Anyway, to get the motorway anyway. It's eight miles, it's going to take me half an hour. And it probably took me half an hour to get here. The traffic's ridiculous. Take a slight left turn onto Richard Street. Then turn right onto Warrington Road. Right? Well, that's not the way I would have gone. Turn right onto Warrington Road. Jeez, that was a slog. I'm at the job. Absolute nightmare getting from Wigan to Lee. Couldn't find it. Got directed back into the traffic for another half an hour. Traffic was awful. It's the day before bank holiday, so for some reason everyone's in the road. So, this place was so hard to find. It's, it's at the back of someone's yard. So it's got a little sign on the wall, but no, you can't see anything. You can't see it from there. I had to ring up and I let in. So I got it, got back, stopped at McDonald's for the toilet, had myself a double cheeseburger. I've rung Alex, asking to come up and give me a lift. I want to get all the bricks out and get the two, two halves of the stone still out. So we can start this pretty much any day. And then we need to um, get on to Skip Company, get a skip, com skip dropped off here. So um, if the weather's a bit iffy, we might come here tomorrow. That all, that's all depends if I can get sand today because it's Good Friday tomorrow. So if I can't get sand today, I'm not going all the way to B and Q because that's another drive and a half. So I'm going to knock on in a minute, let them know we're here, and hopefully by that time, Alex is more than brought him up by then. We're just up the road, so not so bad. So we'll, um, oh yeah, the uh, the guy in the brick store, it was one leg and a bit, so he had a leg stood up on the pallet. And then the bit was next, stacked next to it and shrink wrapped. You've probably seen it before. Well, I strapped it down and um, one little wrong turn and the whole lot's collapsed. So it all fell forward in the van. So it's all towards the side door now. And the two halves of the sill are at the back. So there you see out. They can go straight inside the garage. But I uh, spoke to Robbie today. He wants all our crap out of the garage out of the way. So um, the sooner we can get on this, the better for everybody. So I'll catch you in a bit when Alex gets here. They're a bit light trying to get the right ones. Yeah. Same scratches and etches and Yeah. I think it's crease face that. Well, there you go, my boys here. Here's the uh, state of the bricks. So god god knows. We probably won't have enough now. I didn't get those extras. So we've got wet and dry, so we're gonna have to separate them. The sills are in. So um, I need to work a measurement out for Robbie and he's gonna do us a, a timber a timber frame to build in um, to keep everything secure. I think he's been and put a uh, door frame in and they've started on studding. So we need to get in, get cracking and get our, our crap out of the way and obviously get the front built up. But, and we also need to put a wall in here for them but uh, we can't do that till the door's out. So luckily the door is just three screws each side and as it goes. So, um, Watch out a sec. Al, go a bit, go a bit further back because it does that. With the stack, when the stack goes high, it'll catch the top of the stack. I've done that before. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get these bricks loaded, get the brick jackets over them, and um, probably see about coming tomorrow. Oh yeah, there's the uh, the uh, meter cupboards with the angle lines over the top in a single skin. So obviously they're all just going to be in into the in the um, in the cavity wall now. Anyway, let's get let's get sorted. Another cat, Al. Another cat. The new one. Hello. Hello. Say hello to YouTube. <laughs> You'd have a cat if you wouldn't let him. Yeah. Right. 
just had a quick check of the bottom. So working off that bottom stretcher in, in the reds, so stretch to stretcher. It works. A half. Which is very common. What, what we do when it what we do when it works in half like that is we put a three-quarter in each side. Three-quarter every course and a three-quarter in every course there. And then that gets rid of the half. Um, and the three quarters are hidden in the pillars. We've got a nice panel with full brick in it. Um, we've done it loads of times, it does look nice. It looks apart, so it's a way around that. You never put a half in the wall. And um, same with the, uh, the reds. Be three quarters there and three quarters there. So um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten brick per course. So we, we should have plenty of spares now because um, the chip ones will be cut into three quarters and um, yeah I've allowed 12 per course and only actually 10 check that nine and a half which isn't very wide so right let's get this, this sorted There we go, stacked up, covered up, wet ones are inside, sills are inside. I'd say a third of them are chipped. Yeah. Luckily, maybe, because we've got three quarters up on the side, so a lot of the bricks are going to be cut to three quarters, and a lot of this patch at the top as well. You know, all this is going to be toothed out as well, so we should be okay. Hopefully. Yeah, and we've got plenty of extras as well, because there's um, nine and a half per course, I've allowed for twelve so that we have got extra bricks. Is that easy sell? 265 quid that. A couple of years ago when we got a silver plate, four, four years ago, the silver was 70 quid. I think it's still even cheaper than that, but they come, they come from Yorkshire, I think, it's, I think delivery is 150 quid or something stupid like that. Because our last two customers picked them up themselves from Yorkshire. Houses. What is it? Fifty-three. Ferris to fifty, and we left. Left the job at forty-seven. We're at forty-one. So if you're only about ten to the shuttles will be down. So we did a bit of a mad dash, and um, got our sand and cement. So we've got the option of working tomorrow. If we hadn't got that today, we wouldn't have been working tomorrow. Well, there's no way I was going to be in queue to get sand. So um. Options tomorrow now because the weather's looking quite good. So um, we'll get off the work as normal and see what happens. Got three different places we can go. <laughs> right, this one's only putting a shift in today. So when you need to charge your batteries, which is a uh, MX Fuel 6 amp power 72 volt battery. It takes a while on the charge, so we've been sent <laughs> a supercharger. So that one's full. That can go on the machine. Let's get this on. see how long this takes. Start. It's absolutely dead, absolute dead. This one's nice and full. Got a lot of cutting to do here. We've got, got a channel to take out of the floor so the water can't track through underneath into the floor. This floor is staying in and it's a bit too high. So it isn't, it's not going to be insulated. The best thing you can do is put a, uh, uh, best thing that you can do is put um, a good underlay under the floor because it goes from 30 mil to 60 mil. For some reason, they put the floor in too high. Now, when I worked on site, they always went from 75 at the back to 150 at the front. So you had plenty of room to get a suspended timber flooring. 
so because of that it's going to be solid underneath here he did say you won't be able to insulate it but they'd rather that than we take the floor up and that was from the um, building inspector who we had a meeting with i think i've already mentioned this but um that means there's no there's no air gap under the floor which means there's no air bricks needed which is a good thing because we've only got one course of reds it's not even a full course so um yeah that's more cuts to do as well so we've got the reds to cut we've got the groove to cut out about three inches deep and what i'm going to do is because we're toothing all the way up taking all of every half out i'm going to cut all the way up all the way up those two pips take the whole 100 mil out 100 mil back so that means the cavity goes right back so the cavity is going to come back to about here which means um less cold bridge better job so um yeah the other good thing about the sill being smaller than uh, reducing the size of the opening we can place the sill in and build over it whereas usually we're slotting the sill into we just have to cut a pocket out and slot it in but because we're reducing this one it's going to be a uh, slightly easier obviously more brickwork at the top to do but that's fine blocks are drying out nicely bricks are drying out nicely cup of tea's down me sills out of the way insulation's in insulation's in so um yeah i've brought water suppression so um i've asked the neighbor to move the car but didn't move it far so in um, water suppression it is i did forget the wet dry vac or did i yeah i did so we'll have to see how we go so i need to shut up and make the most of this weather and get get cracking
right? I got a green. Um, so, under 36 minutes to charge a flat 6 amp power 72 volt battery to fully charged. Oh no, not quite fully charged, it's flashing. So it's, um, I think that's 80% charged. So there you go. It's solid green, is fully charged. So I think we're 80% there in 36 minutes. So we'll keep timing it and see what it takes to get full. Let's see what it takes to get to the full green, solid green. So we've got to pull on. That is amazing. Love it. There you go. Solid green. And oh. stop watch. Stop. Forty-five minutes. And I don't know when it went to solid green, but forty-five minutes to, to charge a six amp power seventy-two volt battery from dead to full. Solid green. That is absolutely brilliant, that thing. It's a monster. Absolute monster. Compared to the six bay charger here. And you spin round to that thing there. Super cool that. That is, that is perfect for keeping up, keep batteries keeping up with the, uh, the machines. So yeah, made up with that. I can't stress enough how much these power tools make a difference to our work. We're going to have to make a separate video about it. <coughs> but, um, that thing there, 115mm cut, I think it's deeper, 135 straight through the skin, straight into the next coarser brick, which obviously is, is the solid pillar, but that means we can slide our insulation 100mm past there. So that's 100mm less cold bridging. Of course, it'll have insulated plasterboard on the inside anyway, but it just, it just adds to it. And now when we use the, um, the sawzall, the sawzall blade will go into the cavity that we've, we've made. If we hadn't cut that out, the sawzall blade wouldn't have gone in. So now we just go choo -choo straight through them. That'll take, it's um, it's lime mortar to the uh, silo mix. It might even be tubs, but um, it's soft. So the sawzall's gonna fly through them, but what, but um, only once the, uh, the cavity's cut out. It just makes a better job as well. We don't have to put a vertical damp in because of the cavity. And we're doing the same on this side. And thank God the door is set back, so we don't have to take any of the take the door off to do with this. That's that's as, that's as, we've pulled half a day back today now. So by the time I finish today, all this will be done. It does make an horrendous mess using the water suppression, but it, it, there's no way I could do this much cutting without it, especially with the car being parked so close. I've got the dust sheet up on that, but it's only I'll still have to go over there with the blower. But I did warn them, so yeah. Once this side's out, I'm going to two it all, and then I'm going to mark out the floor for the the yard. Mark out the floor for the little trench, the little two, two inch wide trough, and then cut that out, and then start on this side. We're actually on. I haven't been in here yet. It's uh, 20 to two, so we're doing okay. Like I say, we spent spent all. After nine o'clock, sorting the van out, and by that time Alex was done, he went straight to bed. So, um, yeah, let's keep going. Actually, he's chuffed a bit with that. Yeah, that does the cuts, and that does the uh, pulling out the bits. Absolutely brilliant, love it.
camera's been charging and before that there was a lot of time lapsing but this is a this is why I hate water suppression. The mess is just unbelievable. Look at the state of it. It's everywhere. <coughs> Sorry Steve, speak up. So this side is complete. You've seen that side already. And the, um, the two pillars have dug right down to the next course down on the brick, so if any water does ever gather in this little this little trough, it will run off into the into the two sides, into the pillar below DPC. <coughs> So that's good, so it's not going to hold water. It keeps trying to rain on me. But um, we've, uh, we've broke its back. I've got one, two, three hours to take out of there. But I've just been sidetracked taking this trough out, so I've just got about two and a half foot left to do. And then um, I can pack up and go on. It's been a long half day. Well, it's been a long day. This morning wasn't nice. Um, when I did the other job, got that sorted. Went to tool station, picked a few bits up. Came back, came here, put around about dinner time. Still haven't had my dinner yet. Uh, not hungry. But um, yeah, I'll just crack on. That's all the remedial stuff done then. The only thing we have to do then when we're building it is um, cuts. I was going to cut these down to three quarters, but I don't think I'll think I'll cut these bricks down. Leave these full. Leave these full and cut this one and this one. Yeah, leave, well, well I've managed to get these out in one piece, I don't really want to cut them. And same that side. So those cuts are to do. They're going to be at least up to eight courses, three quarters. Um, we've got the split to go under the blocks, we've got all the reds to split down. But these, this this won't take long, these, these cuts. And we've got these splits to do from here to that stud, because that stud, is, the building inspector's asked to put a course of brick and the damp course that stud to stand on. Um, um, that's it, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. Everything's in, covered up, ready to go. So we just need Alex to be fit, even though, well, we're on a garden wall tomorrow on Easter Sunday, so hopefully he'll be up to it. He's had a good rest today. Come here, get this last bit out. Should be done in about half an hour, and then I'll get away. Yeah, happy days. Right, ten past five. There's a gorilla tub full of crap. One of our um, gorilla tubs from DJ Projects. Still going strong. Here's all the halves I've took out with another pile of rubbish. And we've took a lot of halves out. All that. And all that. So now we have a continuous cavity. Obviously it doesn't go right back, but we're taking that much out, so there's no need for a vertical damp here. No breakages, so it's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28 halves, tooth out, no breakages. Absolutely brilliant, I love that when that happens. And we've got a lot of chip bricks from when they fell over in the van, but obviously we can use the chip bricks for cuts. And then... Um, the garage is looking right mess. So we need to get a skip sort of for when we come back. Obviously not on Monday because it's bank holiday. But um, anyway we'll see. So oh yeah there's the um, the little trough, trench, whatever you want to call it. That is that is put there even though the um eco's there. He said if the eco gets blocked and not water comes down here and gets under the brickwork it'll stop at that that little trough instead of tracking right through and under the wall so yeah I'm going home now I'm going to see how Alex is 
and then have a lie down. I'm knackered. So I'll see you when when we return, whenever that is. Hopefully Bank Holiday Monday, so two Bank Holidays on this job. And we've got this garden wall Saturday and Sunday. Like I say, we're, uh, we're slaves to the weather. So we are three days off this week, during the middle of the week, so it is what it is. It's brick lane, you've just got to do it when you can. So see you when we come back.